When it comes to the Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light situation, if we look at it as an individual situation, you know, on its own with no other context, then it seems pretty absurd. Why get that upset over something that's so small? It's not like Dylan was even in a full-fledged commercial on TV or anything. It's not like Dylan was starting to preach about gender theory or anything. They didn't put Dylan on all their cans. So yeah, it seems kind of petty and pathetic if you look at it individually. But if we look at it as the straw that broke the camel's back, that this sort of thing has been building and building since 2016, where companies are continually virtue signaling left and right, or there's virtue signaling everywhere we turn, everywhere we look, with no light at the end of the tunnel, if you, if you look at it through that kind of lens, then the boycott makes complete sense. It's a message to corporate America. People have reached their absolute limits when it comes to tolerance. Stop poking the hornet's nest, corporate America. DEI and ESG scores are not what you should build your company around if you actually care about the products you put out. To me, we should be happy that this is just a boycott and not something much worse. As I've said recently, we are a tolerant society. Arguably the most tolerant society that has ever existed, at least according to written human history. But that tolerance does have limits. And if you, you as in corporate America, breach those limits over and over again, you're not going to like the results. We have been a society that bases most of its inner workings and principles on biology. And then this spans across multiple areas. There's religion as well, and, and you know, how much effect that has on society, but in general, we find biology and families to be the cornerstone of our society. It's how we break people apart, it's how we categorize, it's how we socialize. People don't want to have to change from being solidly biology-based to being social construct-based that can change at any given time. People can see that this push to view everything as a social construct that needs to be dismantled is not going to stop. It's not even going to slow down unless we find some way to show these companies that uh, we're pretty upset about this. We're tired of this messaging over and over again. I'm glad to see a boycott actually affecting a company in a way that forces them to make changes. I mean, usually boycotts are pretty useless. How do you feel about this, though?